This is a quick demonstration of what a console-based purchase looks like in Paceform. We're going to be using the Paceform.js library to perform a purchase from the command line. You can download the Paceform.js library from GitHub at this URL. Now there's some setup required such as registering a web key which is explained in this Mozilla Hacks uh, blog post. Uh, publishing an asset and listing for sale is also something that you have to do uh, which is uh, explained in this Mozilla Hacks uh, blog post. Uh, so after setup is complete uh, making a purchase is as simple as providing a URL to the command line tool. Uh, so let's see how this looks uh, what this looks like in practice. So I've downloaded the Paceworm.js library here, and uh, I'm in the uh, examples directory right now. Now I'm just going to try to run the uh, purchase asset uh, uh, example here, uh, and I'm going to basically give it a URL that I want to purchase. Now this URL is something that has an asset and listing uh, listed for sale. So we're going to try and buy a recipe off of this uh, recipe website. Um, I've basically uh, told the process to start. It's found a, a listing here and it's already done the purchase. So uh, the purchase is, is really fast and easy uh, and uh, it's basically said that uh, the purchase uh, has completed and the transaction ID is this for the purchase. Now if we want to look at the digital receipt of sale we can use another tool that comes with this uh, Paceworm.js library called uh, Paceworm um, and we use the URL uh, tool here to to uh, download and view this digital receipt. Uh, so let's see what the digital receipt has in it. Now there's a lot of information in the digital receipt uh, and uh, we'll just kind of run through it really quickly. Um, so the uh, this is this is all JSON LD and it's going to list a whole bunch of things that were associated with the transaction like the amount that we paid, uh, the item that we bought, uh, who created the item, uh, the name of the recipe that we bought. So we bought a recipe called uh, Brown Sugar Fudge, uh, which is a recipe on how to create uh, fudge. Um, who provided the asset uh, in in things like digital signatures on the asset that the seller uh, placed on there. Um, who bought the asset, so I bought the asset uh, here, uh, who provided the asset for sale, so the WordPress recipes website, um, the license which we uh, purchased the item uh, under is listed here, uh, who got paid uh, for the recipe, um, who sold the recipe, um, and signatures on, on uh, that. Uh, so basically this is all of the information uh, that uh, was processed by our Paceworm authority uh, when uh, payment was made. Uh, so as you can see the purchase process is just really fast. It's one command line uh, uh, command uh, and then uh, the result of that purchase is stored in a digital receipt that we can use the command line uh, application to uh, retrieve and uh, display to us.